Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The feature bot in this video is the brand new New Age Legendary Heroes 09C Clone Commander Agamemnon, or as I'm going to call him, G1 Marvel Megatron. Now, when they first showed this figure, I immediately pre-ordered him because G1 Fiction was my fiction growing up. I think I mentioned this many times on my channel is I lived where I could not get the animated series. There was no cable out where I lived. So G1 Comics was my fiction growing up. And this is how I remember Megatron with the blue helmet and the red waist. And I was just tickled to death to see then finally, after 38 years, make a Marvel collared Megatron. And this is just awesome because May, this month here, marks the 38th anniversary of the release of Transformers issue number one. So, it's just, man, I just can't explain how thrilled I was when I saw this. Now, I pre-ordered this figure here from ShowZStore. Dot com and I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can get this guy. So let's quick take a quick man. I'm just so excited I can't even talk right now. Let's take a quick look at the packaging. You've got some fantastic artwork right there that is very reminiscent of the Marvel UK series. You have Megatron actually fighting clone Megatron, and I believe that was a story where Straxus created a clone of Megatron and Straxus took over his body. I may be wrong, but I think that's how it was, because though I had a lot of the American Marvel comics, I'm not that familiar with the UK. So anyway, you got some great artwork right there. I love the image of Optimus Prime in the corner, just like those original Marvel comics, legendary heroes there on the top. Side of the box, you see Marvel Megatron in all his glory. Back of the box, there he is once again in robot mode. And this side of the box, I believe that is the same image. Does not show off his gun mode whatsoever. So now, without further ado, let's get this figure opened up out of the package and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Megatron all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. That is a very large sheet of instructions that opens up into pretty much a poster. And it is very well illustrated and fairly easy to follow. You, of course, get Megatron's silencer, the two pieces that form the shoulder stock, a extra face, and this is his maniacal laughing face. You get the key to Vector Sigma, two extra sets of hands, pointy fingers, and wide open hands. You get the Prime Killer Pistol, the Energon Flail, and an adapter. So now let's take a closer look at Megatron himself. Now, first things first, let's address the elephant in the room here and just go ahead and get rid of that damned orange plug. If you think this guy is a real pistol, then you've got problems. 
Now, straight out of the packaging, I was completely floored with how good this figure looks. He is spot on to the Generation 1 Marvel Megatron that I grew up with. His collar scheme is fantastic with the blue, the silver, and the reds. And those collars absolutely pop. I love the metallic look to them. I mean, look how they catch the light. That is just awesome. Taking a look at his head sculpt, fantastic head sculpt. I love it. He just looks exactly like MP36 with that scowling face right there. He's got the yellow eyes, a silver face, and that fantastic blue helmet. That just looks so good. Lots of sculpted details on him as well. There's his normal look that we were accustomed to with G1 Megatron. He's got the control panels there on the stomach, the red for the ab section as well. And like I said, I just love the metallic look. Got the metallic blue for the waist on down. He loses the metallic right here at the top of the thighs because you can see where that's the unpainted plastic. But once you get back down to the paint, it just looks amazing and love the details on this figure. He just looks so cool. I can't say enough good things about him. I mean, this is the Megatron that I grew up with. Now let's take a quick look at articulation. The head's on a ball joint. Can look up and look. Oh, check that out. He's got a red neck. <laughs> I'm from West Virginia. I, I get that. So the head can do a complete 360. It is a little tight, so I don't want to force it. The arms can do a complete 360 as well. They can go out. They can go in. There is an elbow bend. There is an elbow rotation. There is a wrist rotation, a waist rotation, an ab crunch. Legs can go forward. They can go back. You do have to move the hip skirt out of the way right there. There is a rotation at the thigh. There is a bend at the knee and there is ankle tilt. So this guy has got a lot of posability. And he actually cleans up really good. There's not a lot of gaps and waffles, I mean, other than right here on the back. But what are you gonna do with a Legends class figure? Now let's take a look at some of the extra accessories he comes with. You've got, like I said, the silencer and stock pieces for his gun mode. And you can actually piece these together See a little slot right there, line this up. And then you're gonna open up the bottom, forms a stand, take the silencer section, clip it on with the two tabs right there, and you've got a mounted weapon, mounted cannon. Let me switch that around, I had it backwards. That way he can aim up. So he can actually fire his giant cannon right there. You can also, remove the fusion cannon from his arm and attach it to the top of the cannon like so, so he can look at what he's shooting at. Other accessories include the extra set of hands that I showed right here. You can just pop these off the sprue and plug them into where these fists go and they just peg in like so. I'm not going to pop these off because I'm never going to use these. I like the fists, so I really don't want to uh, have these missing. I've al I'm already dropping this one all over the place. So that's what they look like. I mean, you've got a pointer finger and you've got an open hand right there. And since we have the hole where his hand went, we can go ahead and put on the Energon flail. Pegs right in, so you've got Megatron looking like he did from that iconic scene in the original Transformers cartoon show. And I love the flail. That is so cool. It's in this static pose, so it doesn't have any posability whatsoever. So you can just angle it and twist it however you want. Then, let's see, we'll go ahead and put Megatron's fist back in. You have the key to Vector Sigma here. Nice gold finish on this, lots of molded detail, and it's got a little peg right there on the bottom so you can peg it into Megatron's fist. So now he's wielding the key to Vector Sigma so he can transform Earth into a metallic planet like he did in uh, the Key to Vector Sigma episode, one of my favorites where he first introduces the Stunicons. 
You also get the Prime Killer Pistol from Transformers the Movie. That plugs right into his hand, at least it should. That is a tight fit. So there you go, you've got that going on. Now we have his extra face. Now usually these Megatrons come with three faces. You get the laughing face, the scowling face, and an angry face. This uh, Marvel Comics Megatron only came with the laughing face. And how you put that on is lift Megatron's head up, get your fingernail up and under the chin, work the face off. As you can see, there's a hole right there that matches up to the peg on the other face. Just push that into place. And now you've got a maniacally laughing Megatron. <laughs> I can't do a good Megatron. So let me go ahead and get the little tab out here. We'll put the fusion cannon back on and I'll show you how the adapter works. Now the adapter has a couple of features. So right here, you can actually plug it into the back of the figure. There is a hole. All right, there's a, there's a butthole right there. Plug that in. And if you had a display stand, that could peg in so you could have even like a flight mode or something. But what I like is you can use it, plug it into the fusion cannon here, and grab yourself a blast effect. This is blast effect compatible. So now you can have Megatron. Give him a nice pose here. Opening fire with his fusion cannon. So how cool does that look? I love this guy. So now let's go ahead and get Megatron transformed into his gun mode. Now the first thing you need to do in order to transform Megatron into his gun mode is remove the fusion cannon and go ahead and lay the little peg down. Then what you're gonna do is reach in here with your thumbnail and flip up the ab control panel. You're gonna get it to flip out straight like so, and then you're gonna push it through, lift this back section up here, and you're gonna push that through. And it's gonna show the trigger guard pop out his back here. You're gonna pull that all the way through like so. You got this little section right here with a fork. You want to straighten this out and flip this fork down. The joints on mine are really tight. So there, you've got the trigger guard. Now take the barrel of the gun, flip this around like so, and then fold it up. So there you have the front of the gun. Now you're going to lift up on Megatron's chest slightly so you can untab the arms. Let's do this side first. Right there. See how that side clips in under the chest. Just lift up the chest slightly so you can have clearance for those tabs. Go ahead and bring those down. And now you're gonna rotate the chest section forward and then rotate around, bring Megatron's head back so you can have some clearance. And now you just bring this whole section up, snap it into place, and there you have the front of the pistol. Now go ahead and give Megatron's waist a 180, just like so. Bring the legs down, take the back of the legs here and unfold these panels. Bring the feet down like so, and then you're going to unpeg these panels right here and bring these all the way up. Let's see. Just like so, you got one heck of a mess right here. Now, go ahead and bring the legs together. You're gonna pull them, there's little joints right here. So you wanna pull these down like so. And now what we're gonna do is take the blue sections here and rotate these around. Just like so. Now, we're gonna bring everything up. Get the legs pegged together and flip these panels back around. Oh, I missed one part right here. On this foot, you'll see this little lever. 
bring that down, that's actually the hammer of the pistol. And now we'll go ahead and clip the legs or peg the legs together, just like so. And he's starting to look like a pistol here. Now with the arms, <clears throat> you want to make sure that the fists are attached. If you have the pointy finger or the open hand, it's not gonna work. So take the left arm, I believe, and you're gonna unfold these sections right here. Now that's the right arm. Wrong arm. So the arm right here, the right arm with the little peg, you're gonna take this rear section and bring this out like so after you push the arm in. So I missed that part right there. You wanna make sure and push the arm in and bring this out. Now you're gonna rotate the whole arm around. Let's see, bring these panels down. Those were the hip skirts. Get those out of the way. All right, now rotate the arm around like so, and you're gonna to have to manipulate the arm here around, get this down, get the fist up and under the section here, and that will tab in, forming this side of the pistol. Get that tabbed in so you got it looking like so. This arm here, the left arm, is the tricky one because you've got this weird double hinge and what you're going to do is open the arm up like so and then rotate this around so the fist is kind of facing the joint here. Let's see, I think I've got that right. There we go. So you want the fist facing the, <clears throat> excuse me, the fist facing the red joint. Go ahead and flip these sections up here and around. Now you're gonna do the same thing that you did with the other arm, working it into the main body of the pistol. The section here, let's see, what am I missing? There we go. <clears throat> Now, this is the fun part, getting this to fit in just right. Bring this out. I'm trying to get this in right here. One extra step that I forgot. Now you rotate around, there you go. This, I've transformed this guy multiple times and I swear just every time there's something new I'm missing. There's just a lot of sections and pieces involved and it's easy to miss some. Like right here, I've got to flip this part out as well. The left arm has tons of panels that fold out. So now we've got this all straightened up. That slid into place. You gotta make sure that little tab goes right in here behind the main barrel. And now you're gonna squeeze the legs together. Make sure this blue section right here goes between the arms. Get everything tabbed in. You got these tabs here. Line these up. And now all you do is peg everything nice, <clears throat> peg everything together nice and tight. Now once you have everything flush, you're gonna take this little section here with the fork and it's got these little two tabs that you put in right there on the legs. And there you have Megatron in pistol mode. Of course we can flip, that, that stays down. So there is Megatron in pistol mode. You take the fusion cannon, which will now fit right there on top of those little blue sections. And there you have Megatron in pistol mode. And I think this looks great. I love the combination of red and silver. And as you can see, he still didn't tab in all the way, but it just takes some manipulation with the figure to get him to look just right. 
but still, I love that. It's amazing that they're able to put all of that engineering into such a small figure. I mean, I have MP36. He takes me forever to transform. Now, of course, you can add the silencer. Make sure the top here with the split goes over the sight on the pistol. Then you have the buttstock. Clip that together. Got the two pegs here on the back. And then what I really like is you take the fusion cannon and extend that for the scope. And there you have Megatron in his full gun mode. And it is glorious. I love this. This is so cool. I just love the color scheme on this figure. This guy is just amazing. Now you can't look through the scope. So it's open here in the front, but you can't look through the back. But yeah, this is awesome. Now the trigger does move back and forth. I get my finger in there, but there's no spring. It's not going to go back and forth on its own. You're going to have to move it. The hammer back there does not move whatsoever, but still this thing is cool. Now, when he's in his gun mode like this with the silencer attached, blast effects will not work. The adapter will not work. But if you take the silencer off, you can fit the adapter into the barrel of the pistol. And there you go. So that works just like that. Looks really good. So there you go, guys. New Age 09C Clone Commander Agamemnon G1 Marvel Megatron in gun mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the New Age 09C Clone Commander Agamemnon with Generation 1 Megatron, War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Megatron, the first edition New Age Agamemnon, and the 2021 TFCon exclusive New Age Pistolonix. The New Age 09C Clone Commander Agamemnon, or G1 Marvel Megatron, is a great love letter to us G1 Marvel Comics fans. As I said earlier, this is the Megatron that I grew up with, and I absolutely love how this figure looks. He's got a fantastic paint scheme, great articulation, fun transformation, and a great alt mode. I just cannot rave enough about this guy. And it is so awesome to finally get my hands on a Megatron with that Marvel Comics deco. I mean, like they used to say, make mine Marvel. So there you go, guys. The New Age 09C Clone Commander Agamemnon G1 Marvel Megatron. So does the New Age 09C Clone Commander Agamemnon Agamemnon G1 Marvel Megatron belong in your collection? Well, if you're a G1 comic fan like I am, absolutely, I love this figure. Those Marvel comic collars just pop on this guy, and I just couldn't be happier. It is so cool to hold the figure, the character from the comic books that I grew up with, finally, after 38 years. So this is just awesome to me and I love this guy and he is highly highly recommended if you like me are a G1 Transformers Marvel comic fan. Now I picked this guy up at showzstore.com and I'll put a link in the description of this video so if you would like to get one that's where you go. Uh, I got mine in eight days and like I said I couldn't be happier with this guy. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have a new super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!